Obviously, concussion at the minute in rugby is quite a touchy subject, so do you think that enough's being done to prevent concussion at all levels of rugby? Um, yeah, I guess so. I can't really talk too much for... Um, I haven't got a huge involvement in in non-professional rugby, um, but for, I can certainly say that a lot's being done here at, in, in the, on the professional stage. I think you see how much media spotlight it's getting at the minute, um, especially coming from everything from the NFL. Um, so I think there's a huge awareness of it. There's a lot of the rules around high tackles and stuff like that are, um, are all manipulated around reducing concussion. And then if concussion is there, then the protocol um, is very strict and um, you know, there's no getting around it. So yeah, I think, you know, especially in the professional game, I think it's pretty strong. OK, so obviously I've been speaking to your uncle, Robbie, quite a lot. And I asked him about the, because um, he's the coach and everything. So I spoke to him about um, the teaching and the education behind tackling. And he seems to think it is at quite a, a good enough standard. Do you, would you agree with your uncle with that? Yeah, I think so. I think, um, you know, I think a lot of the, the, the times when concussions happen are when you get the head on, your head on the wrong side of a tackle. Um, so I do agree. I think learning the technique of tackling in particular is huge, but then there are just some times where someone sidesteps late or whatever it might be and you just happen to get your head on the wrong side. Um, so, you know, I think it's hugely important that, that everyone learns the techniques and all that side of the game. But, um, you know, I, I think there are there is an element of it being unavoidable at times because of the nature of the game and... Um, Sometimes your head might get in the way a little bit. You, just, you mentioned just then, like the technique behind the tackle. There's a, what brought this sort of debate into the spotlight is there's a group of doctors that want to ban um, tackling above the waist for anyone above the age of 18. So um, below the age of 18. Sorry. So do you think that would lower the amount of concussions in the game? And also, what would that do for developing younger players to come up into the um. professional level? I don't necessarily know whether I agree with it um, because a lot of times if you're in a low low tackle position, a lot of times where you might get hit on the wrong side is, is by a hip pointer or whatever it might be. So, you know, driving a knee, whatever that, you know, there are different, there's so many different ways where it can be, where it can happen. A lot of times if you're tackling upper body wise, you are, your head is sort of out of the way, you're making contact with the chest, there's not an awful lot of, uh, room for error. I think there's probably more room for error in low tackles. Um, so I, I, I don't know whether that rule for me is something that should be applied, but um, you know, they've probably done more research than I have in terms of uh, all that stuff. But you know, having played the game, um, you know, I think that you know, you're just as likely to get it in a low tackle than you are as a high tackle. So um, you know, I'm, not, I don't, I'm not overly sure that I agree with it. So it seems like the concussion debate's been going on for ages and like you must get asked about it a few a fair few times. So do you think it's time for just everyone to accept that concussion is just part of the game? I think so. Um you know, you we always have to try and stay on top of it. Um you know, there's we always have to make sure that we um we have people looking into it and the protocols stay strong because you know, you need to make sure that you protect the players, but um, you know, unfortunately, it is part of the game. That it, it does happen. Um, these things do happen, and you know, I think, yeah, as much as we need to just say that it's part of the game, I think at the same time, it's good that we're looking into it into, into so much depth. Okay, so now that concussions are, it seems like in the spotlight more than ever in rugby. Do you find yourself um, holding back a little bit of fear of getting concussed yourself? No, it's never, it's never, I don't think you ever go into a game with it in the back of your mind. Um, you, you know, in the same way that you, know, you do anything, you cross a road, you're not always fearing getting hit by a car. You know, it's just one of those things. You play rugby because you love the game. Um, you don't worry about concussion. You don't worry about rolling your ankle. You don't worry about, you just play because you love playing. Um, so, you know, I don't think there's ever a time where I've held back because I'm worried that putting my head X, Y and Z might cause a concussion. It's, um, you know, I don't think it's healthy for people to go into games thinking about that.